Hi guys, this is something new. So this is something I've been thinking about doing for a little while. Uh, going to thrift stores, finding stuff, and just seeing what we can find locally. So uh, this is the first video for date sale, which is something they do monthly here in Mobile, and it's pretty fun. Sometimes I find some pretty good stuff, and it's the usually the first weekend of every month. So then they have to on three days: Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sunday being the cheapest, which is when I usually go, and. Uh, Usually everything's pretty cleaned up by then, so I should probably start going on Fridays and Saturdays if I can. Also, if I don't really find really much this week, probably what I'll do is on uh, probably uh, tomorrow after work, after school, I'm gonna go through Goodwill and then probably make a separate video to tack on to the end of this uh, this bit today. So, see you guys when the video's finished. Hope you like it. Ooh, a lot of tables. Not a lot of stuff here this time. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Ooh, 300. 60 per sorrow. So 60 per sorrow would be 118. Oof, that's how much I pay for insurance. I'm not doing that. These are some pretty cool with the shoes. Drunk Santa Claus. That's pretty neat. Not really finding a whole lot today. Kind of disappointed a little bit. I did find this pretty sweet old looking camera. Six dollars. Can't pass that up. It's a pretty cool red lamp there, but I already have a lamp like that at home. Finding mostly old lady stuff. China dishes. Teapots. I think I came on a wrong day. Sunday's where everything's cheapest, so I think I was kind of clean when everything's kind of cleaned out already. I'm going to take this lamp home just because I think somebody might really like it to have in their bedroom or, whatever, or office or whatever. But it's really nice. It's kind of an old design. And the cable looks like it's in a really nice shape. So when I get home, I can actually plug it in and test it, see if it works. All right, so it wasn't really as exciting as I was hoping it would be, <laughs> but I found some pretty cool stuff. I found a pretty cool old lamp, found a camera with a flash lens, and then a Flapper McDonald's toy, and then a money bank from the 70s, so I found some pretty cool stuff. All right, it is now 5.30. I'm in Fairhope. School descended for me. And uh, I'm parked right outside uh, Goodwill here. And so we're going to look around in there real quick, see if we can find anything. And uh, one thing about Fairhope to know, everything's a bit more expensive here. So maybe we can find some stuff some cheap. I'm really hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping to find some stuff for cheap. Maybe. Well, we'll see. Uh, let's see if we can find something. <laughs> Another one. I already found one of these like maybe a couple days ago. This one looks like it's a lot cleaner and in better shape. Yeah, this one's going coming home with me. Let's see here. <laughs> That's cool. They just said on the intercom that the store closes in 29 minutes, so we have to try and find some stuff pretty quickly. Okay. How do I look? <laughs> Portable speed player. That's pretty cool. One thing you always want to check if you're going to find electronics is check the battery components. No acid, it's good. Uh, no price tag. Alright, so we're finished here at Goodwill now. Heading out to my car. Last minute find at the register on the uh, DVD case, there was a Game Boy case. And inside was Mario Kart DS. Awesome. <laughs> Mario Kart DS is really popular, so I think that might sell really quickly. So, uh, unfortunately, I don't have a DS, so I'm going to have to sell it as is untested. A Le bit less than it can go for, but still could sell pretty quickly. Alright, so this is the haul we had that we found yesterday at the estate sale and today at Goodwill. So, we got first we got this goofy hat from Disneyland, Disney World, wherever it's from. 
Yep, Disneyland, Disney World. And this is the thing that I found lit lastly at the Goodwill tonight. From Mario Kart. <laughs> a nice, clean Mario Kart DS game. The funny part is, is I was just thinking about this yesterday and found this today. That's pretty funny. Then this Eternal Revenue Man coin bank. It's pretty cool. This table tennis game set. Comes with the net, paddles, a couple balls, and then brackets for the nets. That's pretty cool. Looks like it's a complete set. Then we got this really cool 35mm camera. Comes with the flash. Looks pretty clean. Could still stand to use some cleaning on it. I don't have any film to test it with, but I did put batteries in the flash, and it does come on. And I got this really cool old red uh, desk lamp. Figured some of the, somebody might like that online and use that for their office or something. And then this really cool little lever toy. And you've got this little wheel on the bottom, so that way when you slide him across your desk or table, whatever, he spins on the little table and it's made to look like a little VHS tape case. That's really cool. And then another <laughs> another Zerg figure. I got one of these literally a week ago. It's the exact same toy. A bit rougher shape than this one. This one's a lot cleaner than the other one. Also another thing that I found, I forgot, I found this X-Men tape. The cassette is not in there right now because it's in the VHS player right now. So uh, we'll uh, turn that on and see what's on. So I got a nice new bulb in there, so let's see if it comes on. Oh god, that's bright. That is very bright. Good to know it works. Alright, got the lamp all nice and clean now. All the dirt and dust has been uh, scrubbed off, so it looks really not it looks really nice and clean, so maybe someone will actually want it. <laughs> Okay, so further investigation into this Eternal Revenue Man. The uh, battery pack on the inside seems to have been corroded really badly. I'm thinking I might be able to clean it, but it looks like one of the contacts is corroded enough that the spring's missing. I don't know if this thing will ever be working. So I just got this guy all cleaned up. It's all nice and clean now. Very cool. Supposed to be a set of six, but I only have this. It'd be cool to find the other five too. So here's the Zerg figure I found today. All nice and cleaned up. It looks really nice and shiny, all perfect and ready to go. And here's the second one I found last week. <laughs> the exact same figure, all in the same place. That's just hilarious. We found it at the exact same store. This one was cheaper. This one was like four dollars. This one was a dollar fifty. Oh, this is so funny. Maybe someone would want both of them. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I scrubbed what I could off the goofy hat. It's such a cool hat. I wish it fit my head. My head is just too swole for it to fit. I think it may be a kid's hat or something. Anyway, it's gonna go up for sale probably. Maybe someone will want this too. <laughs> I just got the camera all nice and cleaned up. Looks really nice and clean. I did put batteries in it, and it seems like it can't really function without the film. So now I will have to try and find some film for it sometime, and then really test it. So, all right, so my total investment for today and yesterday's stuff was $30. That includes 15 for the stuff I found at the estate sale, and 15 for the stuff I found today. So. Not bad, so I'll update you guys in the next video and see, and let you know what I sell uh, before then. And uh, thanks for watching, we'll see you guys in the next video.